on Wednesday at BMO Field in Toronto as Fury pushed forward here and Ryan Williams has lots of space now 30 yards out lays it off for Cito just outside the valley area and now he is brought down dead center 20 yards out so this is going to be a very dangerous spot for a free kick for Ottawa Fury FC for this free kick it will be Cito and Cito rips it home in the ninth minute with the free kick low bottom corner near side and Ottawa Fury FC have their first home goal in USL play this season it's 1-0 Ottawa well is there a hotter man in Fury colors right now than Cito a well hit left footed strike nothing Mac Turner could do as it gets in through the wall and beats him low to his right side and through nine minutes Fury FC have the 1-0 lead but Richmond 25 yards out, middle of the park. Laid off and played over the top. Flag is down, Kamara, and he's got the equalizer. It is Alhaji Kamara in the 34th minute, chesting it down and beating Callum Irving from close range. And well, he's got in behind the defense a couple of times here today, and that time makes no mistakes, 1-1 is the score. Well, the ball just chipped over the back line and all four of Ottawa's defenders were just holding about two yards inside the 18 yard box and that run was timed perfectly as he's able to sneak in behind the back four. Callum Irving, nothing he could do on that one. Richmond gets possession back. And Dixon wins it back though for Ottawa. Here's Jamar Dixon, good ball in for Cito. Right for the shot, 2-1. Ottawa Fury FC, Cito with his second of the match. 38th minute goal and Fury back in the lead. All the credit there to Jamar Dixon after it looked like it had been stolen away after some good possession from Fury FC. Jamar Dixon wins it back. Great challenge there to win the ball. And what a pass in for Cito, who rounds the keeper, cutting to the middle and then buries it. Bottom left post. And Cito with his second goal of the match. Now five goals in five contests for Cito. He will win it. Now to Amura. 35 yards out. Plays this wide right. Fernando. SK, oh good ball, and we're tied 2-2. It's the second of the game for Alhaji Kamara. And he had a free header from about a half yard out. What great a great ball from SK. That was a fantastic delivery from SK and Kamara. All he needed to do was make any kind of contact on that ball and it was gonna find its way in. Just makes that sneaking run in at the back post. Gets in behind Shane McElhaney. Oh, here's a good ball in, and what a save there by Turner. Now to Sekieri. Amura. Sekieri with Thole. Good ball for Kamara. And there it is. It's the hat trick. It is Alhaji Kamara. The first ever hat trick at TD Place. 59th minute goal in Richmond as the lead, 3-2. Well, something almost out of nothing after some good work going the other way by Ottawa Fury FC. A ball played into the box and really no one taking ownership of it. Over the head of Shane McElhaney. Obasi can't close down Alhaji Kamara and he's able to poke it past Callum Irving at the back post. I cut it back high with Sano making the run in there. Ball in for Tucker Hume, edge of the six yard box. Lays it off, Roseboom the shot, it's blocked. Roseboom again, and the captain makes it 3-3. It's Lance Roseboom in the 69th minute for Ottawa Fury FC. Oh, you were dead right, AJ. The scoring wasn't done, and hey, it still may not be, but the captain, Lance Roseboom, with the relentless attitude, finds some space. Great job by Tucker Hume to hold up the ball. Roseboom had his first shot blocked. Finds the loose ball and buries it top corner to pull Ottawa back level. I still don't think we're done. <laughs> this might end up 
It's been a fantastically entertaining contest here today between Ottawa Fury FC and the Richmond Kickers. Well, that's his second goal in club. This is giving up possession right to Andre Campbell again. Here's Campbell. Good work to keep possession. He's pushed down. Penalty. Referee points to the spot as Campbell is fouled inside the box. And Fury FC will have a chance to regain the lead. 72nd minute penalty. And he stopped. It's a great save by Matt Turner who guessed the right way. The shot went to Ryan Williams' right. And the keeper, Turner, guessed to his left. Jimmy Shamar sent all to take this. Ryan Williams with the delivery, and it's headed in. It is Tucker Hume with the goal in the 73rd minute. Williams misses the penalty, but delivers a perfect ball to Hume, who heads it home. Ottawa Fury FC four, Richmond kickers three. Well, if this isn't one of the best Fury FC games you've ever seen, I'd like to know what would top it. Just what an unbelievable second half, a fantastic delivery by Ryan Williams and Tucker Hume, able to redirect it past Matt Turner. And it actually looks like it goes off the chest of Tucker Hume. Oh, we're hearing two minutes, minimum of two minutes of stoppage time. All right, here's Fury countering. Good ball through to Sanol. In behind the defense, flag is down, and there it is. It's his first goal for Ottawa Fury FC, and that will finish it in stoppage time. It's Jimmy, Shabar, Sanol, Ottawa Fury FC five, Richmond kickers three. Wow, what a game this afternoon at TD Place. <laughs> A great run by Jimmy Shamar Sano, and that's the type of goal that this guy scores so much pace. And a fantastic run. And that was a clinical finish, a goal scorer's finish to slot it past. Matt Turner, the most goals scored in a single match. Eight goals now between the two sides. 5-3 Ottawa Fury FC will come away with the win here this afternoon. Up to 12 points. And there is the final whistle here at TD Place as Ottawa Fury FC, they move to 12 points. And they're in a tie for sixth right now in the USL East with a 5-3 win today over the Richmond Kickers in one of the most entertaining matches we've seen Ottawa Fury FC ever play in the four-year history of this club. Yeah, you'd be hard-pressed.